Hello, 9th graders. Welcome back to another English session. In today's English session, we will be learning all about identifying patterns of organization. So, let's get started. So, what are patterns of organization? As the name suggests, patterns of organizations are ways we use to put information and ideas in the passage and organize them. There are many patterns a writer can use to organize his or her ideas. The specific pattern chosen by a writer depends on the topic and the purpose for writing the passage or text. One must simply think carefully about which pattern makes the most sense in helping the reader to better understand and remember the information. We have four common patterns of organization which we will be discussing each in details. They are a chronological pattern, the compare and contrast pattern, the cause and effect pattern, and the problem and solution pattern. The first type of pattern of organization, as we said, is the chronological pattern. So what does it mean to say we are using a chronological pattern? When the writer places incidents or events that happen in a story in the order that they occur. So in other words, the writer puts events in sequence or time order. If you want to know if we are using the chronological pattern, we should look out for words like first, then, finally, a few minutes later, next, after lunch, last year, and other transitional words that would show us that we are using a certain time order to move from one event to another. Let's read the following example on the chronological pattern of organization. First, Tristan was late to school. Then, he was late to the gym. And after lunch, he dropped his project before he got to science class, just like last year. So as we see in this example, we are using a chronological pattern. And on this timeline, the first thing that happened was that Tristan was late to school. And then he was late to the gym. And after lunch, he dropped his project before he got to science class, just like last year. The second type of pattern of organization is the compare and contrast pattern. We use this pattern when we want to show how ideas, things, people, or places are alike or different. So if you want to compare and contrast two things, ideas, people, or places, we should use this pattern. Also, if you want to know if a text is using this pattern, we should look out for transitional words like best, more, better, less, worse, easier, and then, and other transitional words that show that two things are being compared and contrasted. Let's read the following example on comparing and contrasting apples and oranges. Apples and oranges are both fruits. They both have a layer of skin. Most people don't eat the skin of oranges while they eat the skin of apples. Oranges have more juice than apples. As we see in this short paragraph, we have the compare and contrast pattern. We stated out first the similarities that they are both fruits and they both have a layer of skin. And then we stated out the differences that people eat the skin of apples while they don't eat the skin of oranges and that oranges have more juice than apples. The third pattern that we will be explaining is the cause and effect pattern of organization. When the writer writes a text where he shows that one event causes another thing to happen, we say that the writer is using the cause and effect pattern. And to figure out or use ourselves a cause and effect pattern, we should use transitional words like because, then, since, as a result, and of course other transitional words to show that one thing led or caused another thing to happen. Let's put this into an example. Students did not study the material, 
So this is the cause. And the effect of this cause is that they performed poorly on the test. So as we see one thing, which is here, students did not study the material, caused another thing to happen, which is they performed poorly on the test. And the last pattern of organization that we will be discussing is the problem and solution pattern. When a text is divided into two parts, we would know that one part is presenting a problem. We have a problem. And then in another part, we have a solution for this problem. We would know that this text is following the problem and solution pattern. And if you yourself want to write a problem and solution pattern paragraph or text, you should use or look out for words like problem, solution, solve, and plan, and of course, other transitional words to show how you moved from the problem to the solution. For example, if we have a certain problem about building a house, so you want to write about you facing a problem when you want to build a house. What is a solution that you would propose to this problem? Well done. A solution would be to get a required license to build a house on a property. Let's practice what we have learned. Please pause the video to read the following short paragraph and figure out the pattern of organization used in it. After reading the paragraph, what do you think is the pattern that is used? Well done. It is the compare and contrast pattern used to compare and contrast football and baseball. As a homework, please read the following statement and try to figure out the pattern of organization used in each. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video.